Hi guys, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Hey, today we're going to be doing some more zero cost, high profit products that sell. Our first uh, one we're going to be doing, it's going to be out of pallet wood. Um, of course, the only cost involved will be glue, um, finishing nails, some stain, and of course your time. Don't ever forget to charge for your time when pricing your products after you've completed them. So the first project, what are we doing? We're doing the wine rack. The, this one's made out of pallet wood or reclaimed wood. Use whatever you have laying around. If you have scraps, it doesn't take a lot of wood to make this thing. It's less than a five foot one by four, so it's fairly cheap to, to build. All right, well, let's get started on the first build. All right. We're gonna start by breaking down some pallets. Uh, you don't have to use pallet wood. We're just using it to show you how cheap you can build these projects. Feel free to use your scraps or buy new wood if you want to. It's totally up to you. I've given you the measurements of all the pieces of this project. Uh, keep in mind that the opening for each bottle is four inches long. So keep that in mind when you're laying out your measurements. Don't forget to add the thickness of the wood you're using to each four inch section. The pieces of this project uh, fit together with a dado in each piece that slide together and lock into place. Now you can cut these any way you want. I would normally use a dado blade on my table saw, but I chose not to because not everybody has a dado stack. Uh, you can either do it that way or you can use a router table. You can even cut them out by hand if you want to, but this is the fastest way I've found to do it. If you can get your dados to fit together tightly enough, a little bit of glue and a clamp will hold this thing together until it dries. Uh, these were not tight like that, so I had to put a couple finished nails on each side. But once it's put together and glued or glued and nailed, it's not coming apart.
for our next item, we're going to be doing a wooden napkin holder. We're going to be doing this one in two sizes, one for regular size napkins, one for cocktail napkins. Uh, these are also made out of pallet wood, and these have less wood in them than the wine rack, so scraps again will work just fine. All right, so let's get started on that. Hi guys, I was noticing that about 90% of you guys who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. If you could take a moment and please subscribe, like, and share, that would greatly help us out so we can continue making quality content for you. Thank you, and now back to the video.
And for our third item, we're going to be doing cheese boards. Uh, they're super cute, super rustic. Uh, you can hang them on the wall. You can put them on the table and put cheese or whatever on them. Yeah. These are made out of uh, also pallet wood. These are not meant to be used as a cutting board because it'll it'll tear up your wood. But like she said, use them for, for anything other than cutting, and they're great. So these are going to be super, almost zero cost. Basically, you're just going to have to uh, glue some boards together, pallet boards, so you can get your width. And maybe a little uh, wood putty mm -hmm. to cover up any holes or anything and stain. Nope. So let's get started on that. We're going to start this project by squaring up the edge of four boards. Uh, I'm going to do this on the table saw. I would normally do it on the uh, joiner. Uh, not everybody has a joiner. So this is the easiest, next best way to do it. As you can see, I just randomly drew a design on the board. You can make the cutting board, cheese board, any shape you want. I just used something round to round off the top so I would get a perfect circle to the top. Um, I also used it on the edges to round those off, but you can leave the edges square. You can even leave, leave the handle square. Okay guys, you remember on the last, if you watched our last video, I was talking about clearance paint that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store. Some of these we got at Ace Hardware. Um, we found some really nice Magnolia paint and it's $7 a quart. It was marked down. I guess somebody had it mixed and didn't like the color. 
Um, we got another Magnolia for $7. And sometimes they have sample sizes that are mismatched. They mark those down to 50 cents a piece. I don't know if you guys can see that, but 50 cents. And so those are some of the ways that you can save a lot of money on paint. So you're not putting a bunch of cost into your product, so you make more profit in the end. Um, also, I talked about mixing uh, craft paint with find a gallon of white, even beige, um, clearance paint. There's usually always a gallon, and as long as it's uh, all acrylic, it will mix with this. So you just take the desired color or the color or mix colors, look at a color chart, find out what colors make what color and add them, put some of the white paint in a bowl, a cup, and add some of your craft paint and keep adding, mixing, playing around with it until you get the desired color that you're looking for. Also, this is a really good hack for making chalk paint. Chalk paint is a real popular thing and has been for a while now. But you don't have to pay the really high prices to get uh, chalk paint. You can simply get some uh, plaster, plaster of Paris um, from your hobby store. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 for this whole thing. And you just mix a little bit of this in with the paint and it makes turns it into chalk paint consistency. So there's ways around everything really. You can even make chalkboard paint out of this black and then add some of this to it and that makes chalkboard paint. So that's a really good way to save money. Also, these kind of stains are the kind you would mix down with some water real thin and you can turn it into stain. Um, so that is way cheaper, like a dollar, 35, whatever, is a lot cheaper than going out and paying like $10 for a quart of stain. So there's some more money saving tips. And for our last item today, we're going to be doing a coffee table or tabletop tic-tac-toe board. Um, it's going to be made out of wood, pallet wood. It's wonderful, especially if you have young kids or grandkids. I have this on my coffee table at home, and I know I can have decor on my coffee table, and the grandkids can play it. They actually love it, so you don't have to worry about them uh, destroying it. Right. It's a rustic item, so actually the more use it gets, the better it looks. And once again, it's going to be pallet wood. There's just going to be some glue, some nails, and we're probably going to paint this one. So there'll be some paint and some stencil for the X's and O's. Yep. So let's get started with our final product. After I get these boards glued together and they're dry, uh, usually I would run them through the planer to clean them up and make them all the same thickness. A lot of people don't have a planer, so you can just sand them until they're smooth. It takes a little longer, but you get the same result.
We do these projects that anybody can do with any amount of equipment, uh, with any kind of wood. It doesn't matter if you have a full wood shop or just a few hand tools. You can make all these projects easily and the profit margin on all of them is, is huge. So don't be discouraged by not having a lot of tools. You can do this. So that wraps up this week's projects. We made the wine rack, uh, the napkin holder, the cheese boards, the tic-tac-toe board. Mm -hmm. All these were made out of pallet wood. Every, every bit of wood we used was reclaimed from pallets. Like I said earlier, you don't have to use pallet wood. If you're not able to tear them down, you can use scrap wood or buy wood for your projects. It doesn't really matter. Um, and on the tic-tac-toe board, uh, you, you guys saw me paint it, but you didn't see me put the X's and O's on. Mm -hmm. All I did was buy some stencils at Hobby Lobby. I actually got these on clearance for $2. Mm -hmm. And the X's and the O's on these were perfect. I can keep reusing them because they're made out of plastic. So, you know, just be thrifty and you'll get the most profit from your products. Yep. Um, and also, any of these you'd like to make out of new wood or just scrap wood you have laying around. Any of it's possible. You know, it's your business, so you put into it what you want to put in. If you don't want to use pallets, then feel free to use whatever you want. But, you know, everything affects your profit margin. Right. And we're just trying to show you ways to save money in make tough money. times today and make yeah. money, yeah. And this is our dog, Rupert. Right. <laughs> we can't get him to not jump in the video, so. Um, that's it for this week. Next week we'll be doing fall decor, mm -hmm. pumpkins, fall vibes, all that wonderful stuff. So we'll see you then. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.